This is part three of my top 60 ungraded comics for 2018. If you'd like to know what comics are the big guns that I purchased last year, stick around and we'll show you. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics, and this is part three, the last part of a three-part series of my top 60 ungraded comics from 2018 that I purchased. And these are the big guns, and that is a small cat. And don't forget, if you want to enter in the contest, because I am doing a contest, so if this is the first of the three videos you've seen, what I highly recommend you do is watch all three entire videos, because there are hints and clues and parts that you have to look at um, throughout this series. So I recommend you watch entire videos so you can get all the information because basically the way it's going to work is the first subscriber, and you do have to be a subscriber and you do have to like all three videos, uh, the first subscriber to comment every single question and, f and answer everything correctly will get um, all the posters I have remaining which, like I said, is about between 6 and 10, and uh, I'll throw in some extra comics as well. I'll mail it anywhere throughout the world, and of course, I'll pay for the shipping and handling. And uh, the only requirement is you have to be a subscriber, you have to like the video, and you it really will pay to watch all the videos, all three of them, because there's hints throughout each one. So this will be no exception. Now, even though it says these are ungraded books throughout the year, um, if you watch my uh, channel re on a regular basis, I get comics graded all the time. So a lot of these, because they're the top ones, got graded. So it's going to seem a little confusing when you see a bunch of graded books. But let's get the show on the road and start out with issue number 20 of my top 60 books. And we're starting out with Incredible Hulk issue number 3, which is the third appearance of the Hulk. Um, I have... Issue 2 and Issue 3. I used to have Issue 6, but that got stolen years ago. I think I probably paid at the time like $70, $80. Not a bad condition book. Uh, basically, the way the Hulk went is it went from Issue 1 through 6 and then got canceled. And then he got basically transferred over to uh, Tales of Astonish until Issue 101, where um, it became the Incredible Hulk again which starts at issue 102. So there is no Incredible Hulk 7 through 101. So the to get the first six issues, um, it's getting harder and harder to get, especially in higher grade. This is not a bad cover. Uh, definitely love this. This is the second appearance of him being green, and I paid a total of $197 for that book. Not bad at all. Number 19... This is definitely a book I was trying to get for years. This is Batman issue number 181, which is the first appearance of Poison Ivy. Uh, this is a harder book to get because one of the things that people may or may not know about is it came with a pinup as the centerfold. And a lot of people throughout the years, especially kids that bought these comics, uh, would tear out those posters. So if you're ever looking to buy this book, make sure, and it says here, double page pinup, Make sure it does have the pinup. A lot of times people just find a pinup and then just throw it in the center and it's detached. But uh, you do want to make sure it's there. So as you can see here, there's a little corner missing. Um, I did verify the poster is in there. So you will definitely want to double check even if a person says it's guaranteed to be in there. Always be better to be safe than sorry. Um, this I paid a total of $95 for this. Uh, the centerfold is detached and trimmed, so probably somebody ended up taking a, a poster that they found and added it to this comic, but it's still there, so technically, unless they consider it married, I mean, technically it could have been from the original comic, who knows, and they just put it back, but again, still a good comic to get. Number 18, this is one of those books that I bought raw, sent it in to get graded, this is, and I got such a really good deal for this, this is Showcase number 30, which is the origin of the Silver Age Aquaman and his first tryout series. So um, he continued from the Golden Age, so it's a little different than, like, for example, 
um, showcase number four, which is the first Silver Age Flash, and uh, showcase 22, which is first Silver Age Green Lantern. So, so this one's a little different, but it's still a desirable comic. Um, I got this for a steal. It's um, graded at a, let's see, you can see it, graded at a 4.0. Of course, I, I have a little thing with PGX where I send four comics in a month to get graded. So off-white to white pages, I paid a total of $150 for that book. So not a bad price for, especially with the Aquaman movie. I got that before the Aquaman movie came out. So at that point, you know, DC wasn't doing that great with movies other than Wonder Woman. So people were hesitant. But now that it, they show how decent a movie that is, and it is pretty good, um, this book has definitely picked up steam. So $150, can't complain. Next up, number 15. This is probably going to be in the next month's um, sending off of my comics to get graded. I don't get that many Rick and Morty comics anymore, considering some of the controversy there was for a while ago. I definitely don't buy any of their new books, but this one I couldn't pass up. Uh, this is Rick and Morty, Pocket Like You Stole It. Um, this is the uh, Nerd Block variant. This is the one that was recalled, and it's signed by Justin Rowland. I've seen this book sell anywhere from $600 to $1,000. Uh, this could get a 9.8, but who knows? I mean, I'd have to check it completely, but this will be getting um, sent in because PGX does do signature verifications. Um, I only paid a total of $350 for this book. Um, that's cheaper than what people can get at Raw. So if you can get your hands on that book, it's uh, definitely worth getting. It's a very rare comic. All right, next up we got number 16, which is another book I got Raw, but sent in and got graded. Uh, this is Flash number 106, which is the origin and first appearance of Gorilla Grodd and the Pied Piper, um, and first visit to Gorilla City. Uh, early Flash, I think issue 105, is his first solo issue um, outside of Showcase, and um, came out to a 4.0 with off-white to white pages. Cool looking cover. DC had some interesting villains back in the days, but Gorilla Grodd is a fairly popular character in the DC universe. Paid a total of $250 for that book. So, not bad at all. All right. Next up, we have number 15. This is another one that I will be sending in next month to get graded because this has several, and my cat is really interested in that. Uh, this is Spider Gwen issue number um, one. This is the 1 in 100 Adam Hughes variant. This is uh, the first series that came out, I think, 2015 or 2016. Uh, but this is signed by... I'll, I have it all listed. It's signed by Dan Slott, Robbie Rodriguez, Jason Latour, Stan Lee, Adam Hughes, Rico Renzi. And it's also sketch... There's a sketch by Adam Hughes and Rico Renzi. So there's the Adam Hughes sketch right there. And there's the Rico Renzi sketch. So, I mean, with that many signatures, uh, this one I'm really looking forward to getting. Now, I've seen this being sold for around, around 250 to 300 raw without any signatures. I got this book for a total of $359.50. And so definitely a book I will be getting graded. That one is going to look really good slabbed. Next up, number 14. This was a book I was trying to get for a long time. Very expensive book, but I always tell people, wait for deals because you will always find one eventually. This is House of Secrets number 92, which is the first appearance of the Swamp Thing. This is definitely considered a classic cover. Absolutely love that cover. I'm more of a Marvel fan than a DC fan, but I'm not afraid to get DC books, as you can see. Um, one that I would recommend, haven't seen. I don't know if the TV show has come out yet, but the TV show, if it does well, is definitely going to help this book even more. I got this one graded, came back a 3.0, tan to cream pages. So this book has definitely been in the elements. Whoever had it before me. Paid a total of $380 for that book. So not too bad, probably around what it's worth at this point. But uh, books like that will continue to go up over time. 
Okay, number 13 is actually issue number 13 of Superman. Now, this one has some pretty good significance. Um, now, this has a full spine split. The front and back cover is taped to the spine. Uh, you're going to get that a lot when it comes to Golden Age books because, you know, back in those days, no one was really buying them to collect them. They were buying them to read them. So you're talking books over 70 years old. Eventually, they're going to, you know, get damaged. So tape on older books like that doesn't really bother me. But as you could see, the cover presents really well. Now, um, this one was made in 1941. Um, it does have some Jerry Siegel stories, who is uh, one of the co-creators of Superman. Uh, this, the significance of this is, is in this issue, Jimmy Olsen appearance, and his name was revealed for the first time. So before this, he was only known as Office Boy. So this is the issue where they finally call him Jimmy. Now, they didn't say his full name. They didn't call him Jimmy Olsen, but they did refer to him as Jimmy. So it does have some significance. And again, early Superman book. It came back, I got this graded because, you know, of course, like I said, I bought it raw. It only came back a 1.5, but even still, when you're talking early Superman issues, they're going to be pretty expensive regardless of the grade. Uh, Off-white to white pages, I paid a total of $360.99, so definitely not bad. I'm very happy with that. Love my Golden Age books. Number 12, ungraded, but will be graded eventually. This was my second copy of Amazing Spider-Man issue number 14, which, of course, is the first appearance of the Green Goblin when he's riding on his magical vacuum cleaner. Now, at some point, somebody in Grease Pencil wrote their name on the cover, which kind of sucks, but, you know, I'm not going to be too upset about that. Um, love the cover. Still presents well. This is probably a 3.0 to a 3.5. Missing a little piece here, little pieces here. So it just shows the book was loved, but it is complete. Saples are intact. This was one of the books that got stolen from me years ago, which people have asked about that. I've said it a couple of times in videos, but my house got robbed by my ex fiance. Um, and I know that because years later she admitted that her father did it, but not, not much I can do like seven or eight years later. But I paid $518 for nine and 19 cents. There is tape on the spine. This is definitely a book that's going to continue to go up because it's just a matter of time before the Green Goblin ends up in a Spider-Man movie. And um, with the MCU, they I'm sure they will do it justice. Okay, number 12, I'm sorry, number 11. Uh, this is my second copy of this book. Anytime I can get it for a decent price, I will pick it up. Uh, this is Avengers number 4, which is the first reappearance of Captain America, the first appearance in the Silver Age. Definitely a key issue. Another book of mine that got stolen when I was a kid. I had a beautiful copy of this book. This is absolutely a lot lower. There's a little chip missing there. There's a lot of wrinkles and everything, but as you can see, the cover's still intact. This is probably in the 2.5 to 3.5 range, but um, I'd be interested to see if Captain America dies in the next Avengers movie. Now, I don't have any proof of that. It's just a rumor, and who knows? But if he does, I wonder if this book would go down. And if it did, it won't stay down. So there might be a buying opportunity. Who knows? But uh, then again, that may not happen because, you know, a lot of times they talk about the fact that the actors' contracts are up. Um, that may be true, but it doesn't mean they can't re-sign. They have done it before. As a matter of fact... Um, the Iron Man character, and I can't believe I'm forgetting the name of the actor. That's pretty sad right now. But he renewed his contract to do parts uh, three and four of the Avengers because his contract was up, I think, in part three. So um, I paid a total of $520. Uh, the coupon, there is a coupon cutout. So that's unfortunate, but still a book worth having. Second copy. All right, speaking of second copies, this is my second copy of this book. It will eventually be graded. Number 10 is Detective Comics, number 359, which is the first appearance of Batgirl. Absolutely love that cover. The way she just stands out with that purple background and her black and yellow outfit really just makes you focus dead center on this character. So it was definitely a great job. 
Not sure why they put her in high heels. Not the best thing to do when you're trying to chase or run from a villain. But it is what it is. But this is definitely a must-have, in my opinion, if you haven't gotten it yet. Always wait for deals, because you will find them. Again, this is a lower grade. It's got some ticks along the spine. But as you can see, the cover looks and presents very well. That's the most important part for me. I paid a total of only $182.66. And again, like I said in other videos, uh, the staples are barely hanging on. So I put that just in case when I get it graded, I don't want to assume that somebody's going to treat my book the way I would. So I make sure I label things like this of importance so they might think, you know, they might be a little bit more careful knowing that in advance what's going on so you don't find out that they tore the staple from the book. Now you get a lower grade for their mistake. So. Before I get to the next one, let's do one part of the contest. Make sure you get your pen and paper, because at the very end of this video, uh, make sure then you put all the comments of everything that's put together. Hopefully, if you watched all three videos, you wrote down everything that you need, and uh, you have to get everything right for yourself to win. Just because you might be first does not mean you're going to get everything right, so keep that in mind. So the first question in this particular part of the contest, write this down. Don't put it in the comment section yet is what was the comic that was coverless so that was in one of these three videos you have to tell me which book was the uh, book that was coverless so there is only one of them that was coverless so let's see if you remember or you wrote it down or you find it in the video all right so next up we've got number nine so we're in the top 10 at this point i got three of these all three of them i got the steals this one was the most expensive one I bought of the three, but it also came out the highest grade. This is Fantastic Four, issue number 52. I paid, um, for one of them I paid $49. Another one I paid $98. This one I paid $165. But this is the first appearance of the Black Panther, off-white to white pages. When I saw this comic, I knew, especially with the pressing, it was going to get a pretty decent grade. And I was correct with my assumption because it came back a 6.0. So for me to spend under $200 for this book at such a high grade, thrilled to have this in my collection. Um, I have one of the others graded that I uh, got graded 5.5. And I still have one other that I have not gotten graded yet. But definitely a book to have in your collection if you can find it. And it shows because all three of them I got last year in 2018. The one for forty nine dollars was total. It came out to ninety nine ninety eight or something like that because it also came with Fantastic Four number fifty three, and that was a week before the movie came out. So you can find deals. You just got to be patient. You got to search for them. Never give up because you never know what you might find. And I don't seek any comic out. They tend to find me. All right, number eight. This was a book that I bought graded already. It's an older PGX label. But uh, this is my second copy of this book. This is Journey into Mystery, number 85, which is the first appearance of Hemdall, Loki, uh, cameo of Odin, and the first appearance of the Rainbow Bridge in Asgard. Definitely a great book to have. Mid-grade comic. I probably might get this one re-slabbed with the newer labels once they come out. Uh, but it came back, well, it was already a 5.0. So I had another one that um was ungraded but i can't find it so i just wanted to show this so even though you somebody might say well you know you said these are all ungraded and this one you said you bought graded uh, i just can't find the other one right now so i want to at least show the cover just in case if somebody's never seen it before i want to make sure they had the ability to see what it looked like so um with this one i paid a total of 572 um i don't remember what i paid for the raw one but again i just wanted to show so you had not, uh, something to look at. All right, number seven. This was another one of those books. Uh, this is the second one that I got, sent it in recently to get graded. And um, if you haven't had the opportunity, check out all of my videos that I do. I have a playlist of every month when the graded comics come back. I do them live so this way we can learn the grades together because I don't know what the grades are until I open the box and check them with you. So it's a live reaction of my grades and everything. So hopefully you'll check those out. Uh, but this is Justice League of America, issue number one. This came out in 1960. Um, this is the origin and first appearance of Despero. I don't know who that is. Maybe you might. 
uh, letter from Roy Thomas. So nothing really major in this book other than it is issue number one. Uh, it came back a 3.0 with off-white pages. Uh, definitely, again, a beautiful cover. Presents pretty well. There are some color breaks and, cut and stuff, but of course that's to be expected with a lower grade. Paid only $276.25. So um, not a bad book. And hopefully if they do a Justice League of America Part 2, um, they'll do a better job at it because I want the DC movies to succeed. As much as I love Marvel more than I do DC, I don't wish either one to fail because that could hurt the comic industry as a whole. So if they both succeed, we all succeed. So I don't wish bad thoughts on any companies that uh, are contributing to something that I love. All right, next up, number six. I got so many of these. I only got two th last year, but I'll keep buying these anytime I can find a deal, even in lower grade. This, of course, is Giant Size X-Men. Issue number one, which is the first appearance of Colossus, the first appearance of Storm, first appearance of Thunderbird, and the first appearance of Nightcrawler, second appearance, second full appearance of Wolverine. This is des des definitely, can't speak, a desirable book, even in lower grades, because, I mean, it's just a matter of time before the X-Men start appearing in the MCU. And when they do, if they do it justice, and I go with their track record, so far so good, um, these books are just going to end up eventually skyrocketing. So get them before they get out of reach. Because even lower grades are starting to get up there. But take advantage of it while you can. Uh, this one has a detached cover. But still, I don't care. Because you can get up to a 3.0 with a detached cover. But I paid only $283.69. Uh, this will absolutely benefit from a pressing. But it does have some rips and everything. This is probably a 2.0 to a 2.5. But again, I'm buying it because of the fact of what the future will hold for that book. All right, number five. So we're up to the top five. Um, I got two of these last year, but I'm only going to show one of them. I got both of them graded. This one came out the highest of the two. Uh, this is Action Comics number 252, which is the first appearance of Metallo. And, of course, the most important part, the origin and first appearance of Supergirl. Um, this came back creamed off white pages, came back a 2.5. Any grade of this book is mega expensive. So if you can get this book, please make sure you research what the going rights are. But uh, if you could find a deal, snag this book up because this book is really up there price wise, even in lower grade. Uh, this particular book, I spent a total of $596.50. Believe me when I say, that's a pretty darn good price, even for a 2.5 of that book. So, uh, very happy to have that in my collection. I think the other one I got came back a 2.0, which was still not bad, and I paid a little bit less than that 500. All right, number four. This is my second copy. It's weird, because the first copy I got around December, mid-December of 2017, and I got this one just near the end of December of 2018. So, almost a year later, I got a second issue of Amazing Spider-Man number two, which is the first appearance of the Vulture. Love this cover. As you can see, this is a loved cover. There's a corner missing here. There's pieces missing along here. There's a split. Um, there's a piece missing at the edge here. There's some spine ticks. So uh, there's also a piece missing here. So this is probably about a 1.5 to a 2.0 tops. But even still, this is another one of those books, even in low grade, you're talking big bucks. Um, I mean, especially you're talking early Spider-Man issues. So to me, I can't afford the higher grades. Maybe someday I'll win the lottery. But until then, low grade is better than no grade, especially when you pay decent prices. And I only paid $335 for this book. Um, the comic... Oh, and then I also wrote the comic is delicate. Please handle with care. So again, um, I will eventually get that graded, but I want to make sure the people that are opening this up know to be careful so don't ever be afraid to tell people and uh maybe they'll treat it better so for that price not bad the other one i bought in 2016 no 2017 i paid um just about 200 dollars for so i paid a little bit more for this one but uh still not bad considering what the price of that book goes for all right the last three books of 2018 these are the big guns this is one, it was such a cool opportunity to get this. I got this so undervalued because of a seller's mistake. 
Uh, this was one of those auctions that was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, I think I won this from a country. I think it might have been Croatia, but it was somewhere in Eastern Europe. This is Showcase issue number 22, which is the origin and first appearance of the Silver Age Green Lantern and the first appearance of um, Abin Sor and Cal this is also the uh, first appearance of Hal Jordan. So this is a key book to get. Now, I was able to get this at a really decent price because of an error that they posted this at. Um, instead of showcase, the person wrote shoe case. Now, what's significant about that is, is um, eBay, when you type in a search, if you spell it right, it's going to come up with every comic that's listed with that spelling. But because they they uh, spelled it wrong, if somebody was typing in in the search engine Showcase 22, this comic would not come up. So um, there was only one bidder who bid the minimum, and then I bid within my three-second rule. I mean, I have a video teaching you how to win on eBay all the time in my tips videos under my playlist. Check that out if you haven't seen it. But he basically um, bid the minimum. He didn't put any, like, you know, higher bids. So I was the second bidder, and I won it with three seconds left. Paid a grand total of $810 for this book. This is like a $2,500 book because when I got this pressed and cleaned, it came back a 3.0, which I'm thrilled with, creamed off-white pages. So to get this book at a 3.0, and uh, there are definitely rumors that um, they're going to be doing a Green Lantern movie eventually. Um, if they keep going in the direction of what they've done with Wonder Woman and now what they've done with Aquaman, if they get this on track, these books could really start seeing, you know, some really high prices. So definitely a great book to get. But always check eBay, especially newly listed books or late at night. You never know. Something like that can pop up and you get a goldmine opportunity. You know, 800 may seem like a lot, but for a book that's about $2,500, that's almost, you know, a 33% uh, price that I paid off the value of the book. That's not bad any time, but... Number two. If you saw the video I made the other day, you could see uh, I have a total of three copies of this book, but this is the one I bought last year. They listed this, I think it was either a, a 2.0 or a 4.0 on eBay. And when I saw it, I said, there is no way this comic is that low. And for the price they had for this book, I bought it the second I saw it. I knew this was going to come back a high grade, and that's exactly what it did. This is Daredevil number one, of course, which is the first appearance of Daredevil in what I like to call his banana suit. Of course, also the first Karen Page in Foggy Nelson. And um, 6.0 off-white to white pages. Again, this is about a $2,000 to $2,500 book. I spent a grand total, well, I didn't write it down, but I know it by heart, of $810 for that book. No, I'm sorry, $825, my, my, um, my apologies. So I paid $825 for this book, and it came back a 6.0. I mean, this, this book is beautiful. The only major problem, if you want to even call it major, is right here. There's a little scuff mark that breaks the color barely that goes from Daredevil's shoulder to the top. No splits or anything, so that absolutely fits under a 6.0 category. I actually thought it would be a little bit higher, but I'll take it. And again, you can see the back is clean. This was a great book. Could not believe I got it for that price. And again, it always shows that deals can be made. All right, so before we get to number one, I'm going to do another part of the contest. And again, make sure you watch the whole thing because there was um, a, a, of the other videos as well because there were other hints that I'm not going to go over again here. So you have to watch the other videos if you haven't to get those other clues. So um, the next part is in my video entitled What's in This Box, a live stream video I did. So it's not one of these three videos, but it was one I did fairly recently. Which cat was in that video? So there's a specific cat that you see in that, in that video somewhere in there. So you're going to have to find it. And I do mention the cat's name. So you have to write that down. So that is the next part. And then we're going to do one other part of the contest. 
Fo- tell me the following comics in this order in the list. So what was comic number 22, number 37, number 41, and number 52? So make sure you put all of those in the comments. Make sure you watch the other videos. Watch them in their entirety to see all of the clues. If you miss one, you don't win. So last but not least, this is my third copy of this book, but I got this raw. There was another one where they said it was a low grade. It came back pretty decent. Cannot complain. This is a book that I will get every time I can find a deal. I highly recommend it for yourself. So the number one book that I purchased raw in 2018 was the Incredible Hulk issue number 181, which is the first full appearance of Wolverine. Cover presents beautiful. Uh, This would have been a much higher grade than what it got if not for the fact that there was a tear from here to the Hulk's hand. So that's what brought it down lower than what it could have been. This probably could have been a 7.5, a 7.0 to a 7.5 without that tear, but that tear will significantly lower the value of the book, but still not a bad book. This was a book I got right before that surge that all of a sudden this book became very desirable and it, it went up like almost about $500 from when I bought it because when I bought this, people thought I was crazy for the price I paid. Now I paid about five dollars $600 less than what it's worth and It still has so much more potential because of the fact that Wolverine will eventually be in a Marvel movie. So this one day will become untouchable. So even if you can only afford a 0.5, get it if you can get it. And another thing, just like the other book I mentioned a little earlier, uh, make sure it has the Marvel value stamp. Because if it doesn't have that little one inch by one inch stamp, it will become qualified and it will be less desirable. Now, a book like this, people are still going to pay for through the nose, even for the qualified versions. But if you can have the choice, you're better off with the Marvel stamp. And this one definitely does have it. So this I sent in to get graded. Uh, it, it came back off-white to white pages at a 5.5. So still not bad. Like I said, if that rip wasn't there, and it's only a rip on the cover. It doesn't touch any other pages. But... Um, If that wouldn't have that rip, this would have easily been about a 7.0 to a 7.5. But it is what it is. Nothing I can do about that. This is another one of those books that got stolen from me back in the days. Um, I have another one that graded a 4.0 that ended up being uh, restored, which people say all the time PGX doesn't find restored comics. But for some reason, they find them on mine when 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 they are that way. I didn't even know it. And the other one I got years ago at an 8.0. And I paid $1,817. So this is like the second or third most expensive comic I ever bought. But even still, this book now is worth about $2,500 at this point. Uh, It's been fluctuating recently, but I don't worry about that. Because like I said, once Wolverine is back in a Marvel movie, forget it. This book will probably double overnight. So I'm thinking and planning more into the future. But as long as I paid under what it's worth... I cannot complain. So those are the books. Make sure you wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. Make sure you watch all three videos completely so you get all the information. Because like I said, if you miss one part, you're not going to win the contest. So there were um, little hints and everything that I posted um, in the contest rules uh, throughout all three videos. So if you haven't watched all three, I would highly recommend it. Uh, Again, you have to be a subscriber. You do have to like all three videos. And uh, the first person to get everything right by posting it in the comment section will be the winner. And uh, I'll announce that as soon as I see the correct answers. So I have everything in front of me. So I'm just waiting on you guys. So that's it. Thank you very much. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, especially this series, uh, if you'd be kind enough to give it a thumbs up, even if you're not entering the contest, um, I always appreciate that. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Uh, Hit the share button. Let other people in the community learn about my channel if you think my channel can help them. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I got so many more videos I got to do that I actually put on hold to do this series because it was fun trying to find some of these. And um, I haven't even showed the um, mega key book I won for New Year's. So that'll be coming soon. So thank you very much once again. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next video.
Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.